Hello and welcome to the Partner Chronicles hosted by Zoho One. It's a beautiful day in Christchurch here today and we have Rob with us of Arise Business Solutions. Arise Business Solutions has been a exclusive Zoho One partner for quite a few years now. Let's take a walk in this beautiful park today and get to know Rob more. Hi Rob. Hi Sakita, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. It's a beautiful oh. day and thank you for bringing us here. Oh, it's great to have you in Christchurch and I hopefully we can showcase a little bit of the gardens here for everyone who's uh, watching today. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your background for our listeners here today. Uh, well, I've been in the IT industry for 20 odd years and Arise Business Solutions has been around for since 20, 2011. So we're fairly well established. Uh, yet still growing and developing and uh, meeting more and more clients. Yes. Uh, what is your background like before you started Arise Business Solutions? Uh, what was your background? How did you come on to this? Yeah, uh, well, I, um, I graduated from university with an economics degree. Okay. And so after that, um, exploring different career opportunities. I actually worked in the travel industry for oh, a few years. Oh, that's very interesting. And yeah, that was great actually. So that sort of established my sales and yes. marketing background. Yeah. Uh, and uh, got me to travel around the world to different countries and experience different cultures. Yeah. And I think that's really helped with establishing a good uh, business practice now. Yeah. Um, and as moved me into working in different industries as well, so which has really helped as far as being a business coach and consultant uh, as, a, as a Zoho One partner. Something that I really do connect with what you just said, uh, I think traveling gives you so much of experience. You mm. meet new people like we are meeting here today uh, on a beautiful day and it, it's just something that's really close to my heart and that is something that I find gets imbibed in my work too. Mm. And that's why I really, really, really enjoy working uh, the way I do. Uh, thank you for that. Yes. Uh, so tell me a little bit about how you set up uh, your business, Arise Business Solutions, how many people you have now, what kind of technology do you use? And Great. Okay. Well, I um, originally set up the business with another business partner yeah. uh, that we met through different circles in the, in the technology scene okay. of Christchurch. And uh, we, uh, we looked at different so, uh, software options that were yeah. available in the market at the time and really wanted to build a practice that provided an end-to-end -end solution for, yeah. for businesses yeah. to allow them to increase their efficiency and productivity. Yeah. And so we came across Zoho in those early days. And then we uh, also looked at some other software solutions that provided that end-to-end -end solution, mm -hmm. whereas... Um, Zoho One wasn't established then. Yeah. And so that's kind of led us through an evolution of understanding other products that are on the market and looking for that best of breed that would mm -hmm. suit different areas of functionality. And uh, so now we are still a small team. There are only three of us um, working full time plus another business partner. So yeah. that's uh, recently changed over the, um, over the last year, within the last 12 months. Um, and we're really looking to expand our service offering going forward and yes. introducing more people to the Zoho One product. So before we get into the entire Zoho ecosystem of things, mm. uh, before you began with Zoho and then Zoho One, uh, what experience do you have with uh, multiple uh, other software companies out there? Would you like to sh uh, shine some light on that? Sure. Uh, well, I've worked, uh, I've worked quite a bit in the Microsoft space okay. and I've done some consulting for large companies at the enterprise level, yeah. uh, specifically as a release manager. So yeah. involved with the software development lifecycle yes. and uh, implementing software solutions and making sure yeah. that all the parts come together to meet a release deadline. So that was um, that experience has been really good for me. I think it's uh, learning from those biz, big business experiences yes. and the relationships you have with other people yes. really help uh, bring that together for a, a smaller and medium-sized businesses yes. so we can provide a great experience. Um, and some of the other products yeah. would have been um, using Workflow Max, which is a, which is a, uh, a, a, a workflow uh, project management tool. Okay. Um, we also work quite closely with Xero because it's an accounting platform yes. that's well known in this yes. part of the world. 
um, and other CRMs we've looked at, such as uh, Capsule CRM. We've mm -hmm. touched a little bit on, on Salesforce. Yeah. Uh, and we've really just been introduced to other software solutions that different businesses have, such as um, uh, transport uh, in the transport sector with logistics, um, scheduling of um, vehicles and, and staff, and oh, things like that. So, yeah. mm. so we were talking about uh, relationships before, uh, right mm. before we started. And in the light of that conversation, how different do you think Arise Business Solutions is? Tell me a little bit of an approach to how you talk to your customers, how you keep your customers happy mm. and content for, for the long term. Because I think at the end of the day, that is really important. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I really cherish those relationships that yeah. I build up with clients and customers. And I like to get to know them at a personal level so yeah. I can under, just understand what their background is. Absolutely. Uh, much the same way as we're talking because yeah. you get to an in-depth knowledge of who they are and where they've come from yes. and kind of really what they want to achieve out of their business. So yeah. the uh, best conversations I have are with generally with the business owners mm -hmm. um, or at least the, the, the high level stakeholders who have got some invested interest in the business. Yes. So they, they understand their journey. And if they don't, then I like to have those conversations where I can get to get them to be really crystal clear on yes. what their direction is. Yes. So that will help guide the process for uh, just understanding whether Zoho One is a, is a good fit for them yes. and uh, what whether there are other technologies that might assist them in their journey to, to get where they want to be. Yes. Um, taking away from this conversation, mm. uh, how has Zoho One, before we get into how Zoho One helps your partners mm. with your expertise and your team's expertise, how has Zoho One aided you and your business in becoming better than becoming better because you know it's an operating system for business all in mm. one has that added some sort of value in the way you have been conducting business before and after uh as far as um using it within our own business yes. you mean yes. yeah well absolutely yeah. it's um as we've seen with the evolution of uh zoho we uh, within the Zoho One suite, we've really embedded it down. Yeah. So that is the only software suite that we use now. Okay. And um, we are looking to uh, really make that a, a, a best of breed okay. solution so we can run our um, whole business on it and mm -hmm. then we can recommend that to others. Okay. Okay. That, that, sound, that sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now getting into more of uh, how we take Zoho One for your customers. Now, excuse me, that's okay. <laughs> so, talk to me about one of your customers or one of your initial customers. They came to you with a certain, let, let's take a seat here mm. and have the conversation. <clears throat> so talk to me a little bit about, uh, say one of your initial uh, customers who came to you with a certain business challenge or a problem. What's the one thing that you remember very clearly? I'm sure initial stories are what made you who you are today. So would you share mm. something with me? Absolutely. Well, um, it's the, the problem that I that I hear and I've, I've heard with um, specific clients is that they have struggled, struggled to understand fully what is happening within their business. So mm -hmm. it's visibility of communication and activity yes. and um, connection with their customers. Yes. And with without using any specific software, they um, or they may or may may not have used other systems in the past, but um, they've just have lack of transparency yeah. um, and and lack of awareness of what other whether it's sales staff or operational staff have done within their business. So. I think that's um, that's a big problem where that where if they don't have something that's uh, a system which is really kind of transparent, um, then they lose sight of what's going on. So they, yes. then from a management perspective, yeah. it's very hard to make decisions without that without that insight. So I'm I'm just curious to know. Um, imagine uh, an impl uh, someone comes to you for an implementation, and the person who's heading sales has a different perspective of mm. how the system should look like. A person who runs operations 
has a different perspective. A marketer has a different perspective. And uh, you are the one listening to everyone. Yes. And you know, you know the tech. You have the expertise of understanding what a, the Zoho One operating system can do for their business. Mm. So is there any way you approach this? Uh, I'm sure there's not an ideal solution always. But uh, what is your and your team's approach to something like this where there are different perspectives? It might be mm. a single goal, but the perspective is extremely different. So how mm. do you come to a consensus uh, well, that. if I if I sense that going on, if I sense that there's that there's different points of view yeah. of what their end goal might be, then I would try and isolate those pe people in different points of view and have a conversation with them individually. So then I can learn and listen and learn what their perspective yeah. is from each individual, allowing them to speak freely. Then uh, collating that and then presenting that back as a as yeah. a complete picture because. Yeah. Quite often I find in those situations that the relationships might be strong within the business, yeah. but some may be more dominant than others. Yes. So it's really quite good to sort of separate them out, um, get their, give them a chance to speak freely, and yes. then uh, bring that conversation back together and give them my assessment of it. So quite often I find that's a good way to really just yeah. um, get a clear picture for everyone. Yeah. And then you, you act as a bit of a mediator. Yes. Uh, and that's where I find I put on my coaching hat and, you know, yes. you're dealing with individual performances yes. uh, from, from those within the business and allowing them to uh, be a bit more cohesive in the end goal. Yeah. Just like mm. being a Zoho One partner, you act as a bridge between the customer mm. and the brand itself. So Absolutely. And it's, sometimes it really fascinates me that technology is so much more about people than just the tech itself. Yes. Uh, like we just spoke about, it's mm. it's it's got so much more to do with how you deal with the perspective that they they have in mind than just implementing the technology and saying this is what works yes. and this is how we'll go about it. So yeah. the stakeholders having to be convinced that this is the way mm. our business process needs to go is something that 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 it always fascinates me more than yes. anything. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's great because it allows you to really get to know them a, a yeah. better and a more deeper level um, and then also uh, provide them that ongoing uh, service beyond the software that's th exactly. delivered at the end because you as the more you get to know them the more you get to understand their business and then the more you get to be able to um, take them along on yeah. that journey to evolve and grow yeah. as well so yeah. their growth also helps yeah. our growth so it's it's very it's very important to to understand the person and not because that's when you understand the business mm. would, would i be right if i say it absolutely like yeah. yeah understanding the person is first and foremost yeah. i think that's what creates the difference between uh having a partner and not having a partner yeah. it's it's uh, uh relatively straightforward to those with technical knowledge yeah. to go and download the software yes. and implement it themselves yes. but they're they don't have anyone else they lose that they don't have a personal contact the personal touch yes in between yes. so i think that's uh, the the real value a partner can bring tell me a little bit about what uh, what is the ideal market for arise business solutions today currently and where would you uh, like to move forward say in the next five years Absolutely. Well, the majority of our business comes from uh, the professional services yeah. sector. Uh, and in general, we are talking more and more to um, specific consultancy mm -hmm. firms. So they might be financial advisors or yes. insurance brokers. They could be in the legal field uh, and, and, and they could be other um, engineering consultants or health yeah. and safety, that sort of thing. So they're, um, they're similar businesses to us, but dealing with a completely different set of yeah. customers so then their needs it's that similar needs but but different outcomes yes um and we find i find that that's my sweet spot yeah um spe specifically within the knowledge that i have within our own business and, and past clients but i see going forward that we will be um dealing with uh larger customers um more at more of a higher level with a with a larger number of clients because i see that uh once these businesses uh, get some success, they will inevitably grow and, um, and therefore their teams will grow. Yeah. So 
we will be um, pitching more to other yes. other larger businesses as well um, because of course the Zoho One platform is scalable so yes. it's um, yes. certainly suited for enterprise level also. So uh, talking more about you getting into the future and targeting mm -hmm. bigger businesses and Zoho One being scalable, uh, we were talking about Guy uh, a, a little while ago. He's partnered with you recently, a few months ago. And introduce Guy to us a little bit and then I, I reckon he's at the office. We'll go there, have a chat with him and come right back. You tell us oh, a little bit about Guy. Absolutely. Well, um, Guy is, uh, is, 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 he's recently joined the business. Yeah. He, he, he came to Arise Business Solutions as a potential customer, mm -hmm. a, a business yeah. that, he, that he operates and, um, and was looking for a, a specific software solution. So he, uh, he had a, a sort of a warm introduction um, to the product because yeah. he had done his research. He's got some great background in um, finance and, and software implementations for, for larger businesses. And when he was looking for his local Zoho partner, he yeah. came across at Rise Business Solutions yeah. and then saw that I was the owner of the company. And I reckon you guys knew yeah, each other Yeah, that's right. Before. That's <laughs> right. So, so the great thing is that we had met at school and, um, and uh, we've you know, got a close relationship because that's of that. as so, organic as it can yeah, be. Yeah, we hadn't seen each other for many years, two, yeah. two decades probably. Wow. And uh, it was great that he... Um, uh, you know, found yeah. found us, and then and realised that he was already he was already uh, w sold on the product. Really, it okay. spoke for it spoke for itself. But he wanted right. to know that there was a partner there, yeah. and, and saw the opportunity not only to implement the software for his own business, but he wanted to get a stakeholder in the company as well to provide ongoing services to other companies. That that the the synergy that you guys have uh, the fact that he was a customer and then mm. he met you who he already knew, and then moved on to becoming your business partner. This is something beautiful. Let's go back to the office, uh, listen to Guy, uh, his perspective, and we'll come right back to the park to have a chat with you. Great. Hi, Guy. Introduce yourself for our audience there, please. Hi, my name's uh, Guy March. Um, our company is Goldstream Group. Um, it's a, a diversified uh, company with a number of uh, different interests across uh, finance, real estate, uh, development and construction. How did you happen to meet Rob and how did you happen to become a partner with Arise Business Solutions? So I was looking uh, for a, a platform that, uh, that we could develop uh, across diverse uh, businesses, so we don't. We're not just a single focus business. It's a, a group of, of business entities, and they all do uh, a number of different things. Some of them are more project focused, uh, some more customer service focused. So um, I'd done quite a lot of research on the on the website myself and found Zoho, um, and uh, you know thought that it looked like a really good platform. As part of that research, yeah. I discovered that uh, Rob. Uh, from Arise Business Solutions was the uh, only partner here in, uh, in the South Island of New Zealand. And it so happened that I knew Rob from many years ago uh, at school. He was a year behind me at mm -hmm. school. So uh, it was an easy conversation to have to ring him up and say, hey, listen, I'd, I'd like to find out two things. One more about Zoho and, de and determine whether it's going to be the right platform for me uh, to solve our um, challenges. And really, particularly what I was looking about for there was something to help me grow with. So really a really a big future sort of focused, something that was quite um, able to cope with a number of different businesses and growth related. And secondly, I said to him, you know, based on my early research, I thought Zoho was a great platform uh, and that I would be interested in, uh, if he was, in, uh, you know, seeing if we could mm -hmm. take that platform to the New Zealand market because we know it's not that well known here. Um, yes. There's a few, uh, the CRM product is reasonably mm. well known, but the breadth of the platform isn't as well known uh, as I had discovered it to be. And I thought there was a good business opportunity. So over a period of about a year, he and I uh, decided that we joined together 50-50 and, uh, yeah. and helped build Arise up as a, a, a partner here to help other businesses you know, adopt the, uh, the Zoho platform. Yeah. Zoho One is called the operating system for business. So according to you, 
how does Zoho One act as an operating system? Do you want to throw some light on that? Sure, and that was really actually one of the key things that attracted me in the first place. Yeah. Again, coming back to this idea that I have multiple entities hmm. and uh, as someone who had been through a number of um, software implementations in other businesses, um, some, uh, you know, I, I knew the pitfalls that were there and I was looking for something that, uh, you know, was, was a single source of truth yeah. uh, and a platform on which we could build upon and, um, and sort of help grow the business yeah. and that didn't end up with three or four or five different entities yeah. and, and softwares that didn't talk to each other and didn't, uh, you know, sort of achieve what we were doing. So immediately I was, I was um, drawn to that from Zoho and that's certainly the way I've experienced it. So the, just the ability to put to, to run, you know, a, a finance business and a um, and a property development business within one CRM is is quite unique, and we can just do that by building out uh, various modules uh, to to suit there. Um, and again, the idea that it's you know future growth is 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 really sort of built into that because the mod modules are you know every day getting better and better at uh, talking to each other. We still have. Uh, a few New Zealand specific challenges, yeah. particularly with the finance product and that it needs a bit more development here. But by and large, uh, you know, most of the other um, modules and, and yes. software actually work really yes. well together to give you a platform for, you know, communications and collaboration. And that was certainly something for me that was important, um, having a lot of uh, engineering um, professionals, uh, architects and that sort of stuff that were that I needed to be able to engage and uh, and and, and have, engage with um, to make a project successful um, was having a, a, a good platform um, to be able to have yeah. seamless sort of engagement with them, yes. single source of truth. Yes. So we've we worked with uh, Connect on that basis and a little bit of uh, Click as well. Um, that's you know a fantastic product uh, to have a, a you know a, a very good uh, collaboration platform for any kind of business uh, there. So. So I understand you use uh, quite a bit of projects along with CRM as uh, your base product. Do you have any more that you use on a regular basis or looking forward to using? Uh, well, I'm, I'm particularly looking forward to using, uh, to getting the finance piece worked yeah. uh, to, yes. to, to finish off that, that whole project flow. Um, projects is a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a key piece uh, to, the, to, the, uh, to the Zoho. Uh, puzzle for me because um, you know a lot of it is project-based work, um, and yeah. the fact that you can have uh, you know external people engage yeah. directly into projects. So one of the great benefits of Zoho is that you know there's 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 so many apps out there, and there's so many ways you can communicate and collaborate with external parties quite easily. Yeah. You know, not not unlike a lot of other software. Um, so you know that's that's really um, I think for me building out you know, more processes around those sorts of uh, collaboration pieces from, from projects. Um, I don't have to do a lot with the people piece at yeah. this stage, but it's definitely on the horizon as one of the big challenges that most companies face is being able to, uh, you know, recruit and deal with, uh, with human resource. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's such a key part of any, any company. So that's another, it's just the fact that it's there. Yes. And so that as we grow that team out, yes. The, the, the resources there on the same platform yes. and uh, we, can, we can put it in. Thank you guys. Thank you for sharing your wonderful perspective for all of us here. So we are back from the office after talking to Guy and back here with Rob in this beautiful day at this beautiful park. Let's continue our conversation. You want to take a walk down yep. once again? Absolutely. Let's do that. This way? Yes. Mind the trees. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So getting into a little bit more about Zoho One and how you implement, you and your team bring in your expertise in implementing Zoho One. So tell me an instance, uh, what maybe one of your favorite implementations that you've done that's unique, that's something about it that was so different that you remember it even now without having to name names. Oh, absolutely. Um, so a, a situation that I'm uh, thinking of with a specific customer is that they uh, have a specific set of needs around, provide, they provide a service yeah. for other customers, um, but they, they need some specialized software mm -hmm. that uh, is 
that is um, out, that that Zoho doesn't provide. It's not yes. part of the, the Zoho One suite. Okay. So uh, what we're doing is implementing um, using. Uh, some integration, um, yes. and specifically uh, using some custom custom development to yeah. integrate with that out of the CRM and taking customer information out, yeah. providing some some detailed uh, measurement of, of mm -hmm. areas, yeah. uh, and allowing it to calculate and then bring in, bring data back into yeah. into the Zoho One uh, platform. So like so, a full circle. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing a full circle. So yeah. it just adds adds another layer of complexity. Yeah to the overall solution, but it's all focused still around the Zoho One uh, um, operating system. Yeah. So it, I think that works really well, and that's quite exciting because it's using uh, new technology, different yeah. applications, yeah. Uh, but bringing data back into one source. So, yeah. it's, so the complexity is mm. essentially making it more simpler for the customer to use it. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. They know they need different applications, different specialized applications yeah. for different needs, Yeah. but it's one system to them. So yes. uh, being able to click a button from within Zoho, yes. uh, open up another application on yeah. the browser, yeah. uh, complete that part of the process, and then it will all be pushed back into yeah. Zoho again. Yeah. So to them, it's really just still one system. Yeah, that that's ought to be a lot of back end work for you. So. It is, yeah. Well, it's um, and the beauty of doing that is uh, we're increasing our capability. Yes, so yes. We're, we're getting some good technical knowledge and understanding yeah. of, of how to uh, do the integration with yes. third-party tools. Yes. Um, but it also allows us to reach out to other partners in the network, mm -hmm. which is which is I think a v added value for those in uh, that are other Zoho One partners. Yes. Uh, and it's getting to know them. We've got a, you know, there's a global uh, ne a global community that we can all tap into each other's specialized knowledge. I think adding an additional layer of complexity to solve a customer's problem also mm. showcases uh, how, how Arise Business Solutions has the expertise to understand the capability and scalability of Zoho One. Mm. Uh, and how do you then showcase the value of Zoho One to your customer, the process of it. Could you yes. get into a little bit detail about that? Sure, absolutely. Well, we um, uh, we, do, we have an initial consult, so yeah. we understand, get to know the, get to know the client, yes. build a relationship, uh, establish what their requirements are. Yes. And from that, from, the, from those requirements, even at, a, even at a high level, we can start to imagine what that solution looks mm -hmm. like so yeah. we uh, we start by visualizing that with a with a diagram and some sort of system yeah. diagram or design yeah. uh, of the design and and um, and that would allow us to showcase the breadth of the Zoho solutions that are available um, and it will give them a sense of how things will be connected together and yeah. what the data how the data might flow yeah um, and and then we would take that a step further to actually build out the build out that proof of concept. Yeah. So uh, using using a trial instance or or setting up a demonstration uh, version of the Zoho One yeah. uh, operating system, we would yeah. we would build that out some sample data in there, and then really give the customer a taste of what it is that they're investing into. Yeah. So it gives them a chance to decide. You know, at that point, we're always... Is this always, working for yeah, them? And, is it working yeah. for them? Always giving them the opportunity to say stop at any point, but we're there to help nurture them along and, and guide them towards um, a, you know, a successful outcome. Yeah. So how, how long do you... Uh, like, there should be a point of time where you say the implementation is done, at least for phase one, or mm. this, is the, this is the first phase of the implementation. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm sure you have goals internally with and within your team uh, so is how, how long would probably an ideal uh, implementation say probably for CRM and a project management tool last what would it depend it, on it multiple do, it does depend factors? on multiple there's yeah. multiple factors involved it depends yeah. a, a lot of the unknown is the data migration path yes. if they're coming from an existing software solution yeah. and they're moving in towards uh, take coming across to Zoho yeah. 
what's the state of that source data yeah. and and what's needed to get it across because I always find data migration is the the great unknown yes, and, the, and can be the biggest problem yeah. um, and anything could could happen anything there, right? could happen yeah. if the data is unclean yeah. or it's the fields don't match up or if we yeah. need to break it down to smaller chunks yeah. so quite often we look at uh, breaking it down a whole project into yeah. a phased approach so okay. if we're looking at Zoho one we would say let's start with your biggest problem first yes or potentially your quickest win first yes. so then yes. they get value straight away and uh, a, a project that we're working on at the moment yeah. is really just focused on sales so we'll yes. we'll look at the, we'll look at the CRM yeah. we'll look at how we can build that into the project management yeah. so that that allows us taking it from a, a, a sales new customer coming yeah. on board yeah. um, working with the system providing quotes and generating yeah. new new business for them so so yeah this reminds me of uh, a technique a theory they use in product management that it's it's called moscow and they start with a core problem so the the word moscow is like it is it is a must the m for moscow is a must have problem mm. which is basically the core problem that the customer came to the partner for help or or the brand yes then must have and then it goes to should have problems mm. then could have problems and problems that won't be there in the business for the near future yes. so the the core problem solving thing reminds me of this moscow technique yes, i i've that's used a great technique. Uh, i i read it and I'm, i really did <laughs> find it very very interesting so one more observation zoho one as you are <laughs> very much aware is is vast has 45 plus running applications and more and more with every passing quarter mm. um although that that shows robustness and that is scalable do you think it also could get overwhelming and how then as a zoho one exclusive partner do you handle that challenge mm absolutely it can, it can be overwhelming there yeah. are there are many different applications that yeah. are part of the suite yeah. um and that's that's both an exciting uh proposition yeah. but also a bit daunting right yeah, so definitely so uh part of that initial proof of concept uh and understanding how long a project might be yeah uh gives you a sense of how we should break it down and how we should look at getting an initial set of users on yeah. board first perhaps yeah um and that's the great thing about the Zoho one operating system because yes. you can uh decide on which users get access to which apps yes. and then just really tightening up yes. what they get access to and it makes it not not so much daunting not so daunting for them um but a, a, a part of our service is what we the way to overcome that as well as to provide to be a coach to be the a, a coach for them to help them get on board yes. and nurture that relationship even further hand hold them on get those initial uh users that might might be the uh, champions for future users coming on yes. board and using other applications. Yes. And I think that's a really important part it's kind of something that we do that we feels quite yes. unique because it establishes it, that strong it relationship. It is it is Rob because it's it's very it's very organic to know and understand that you are empowering your mm -hmm. users to be able to use the technology themselves yes. and not always having to need you in yes. the future. That's right. In the future. Yeah, the idea is that they can always step away whenever yeah. they feel they're comfortable yeah. to uh yeah. we don't we don't try and restrain them in and yes. and create too much customization You're that they You're empowering them. Yeah. Yeah, they could they can certainly take ownership of it. Yes. Um and uh that, that we find that most people get to a point where they say okay that's that's enough we yeah. we think we're sorted we can do it. Um but then again if the relationship's strong yeah. you know that in the future If there is a growth opportunity yes. for them or a need to yeah. solve some other problem they will come they back. They will definitely come back to yeah. you. Yeah. That's that's the definition of a beautiful working relationship. <laughs> uh is there anything okay I would like to ask you this. Uh what is the I maybe I know the answer to this but I will ask you nevertheless. What would the one thing that the Zoho One suite does not have right now that you would love to have? not just because 
it's nice to have but you need to have it what 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 is that one thing that you would probably point out um I'm wondering whether we should sort of talk about the financial yeah, suite for sure. perhaps for um sure. that's one area yeah. i know in new zealand is a is a potential inhibitor uh but we, we would lo- we would love to see a version of zoho box for the yeah. new zealand market yeah. um we, there are some strong uh, accounting packages out yes. there, which accountants obviously drive that decision process. Yes. yes. What we're trying to do to uh, to overcome that yeah. is actually is getting on board with a few key accountancy partners yeah. or, or firms that okay. that we can introduce them to uh, a way of integrating okay. um, Zoho Books and and other accounting packages. Uh, but we would really love to see the Zoho Box New Zealand yeah. version come out in the near future. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, just wrapping it up here. If you would have to describe Zoho One in just five words, what would they be? Oh, um, okay. <laughs> so, well, I would say... We'll, de- we'll walk and think. Definitely... <laughs> Uh, it is um, definitely Zoho, Zoho One is the operating system for business, yeah. uh, and um, I'm not sure else how, how to describe it. You might be able to put words into my mouth, but uh, it's uh, it, it seems to be uh, the the one that is um, it, it covers it covers many businesses for different okay. reasons. Okay. Um, but yeah, what, how would you, how I'll would you describe? I'll reduce your misery. I'll tell you, <laughs> tell me three. <laughs> okay, I'll help you with one. Scalable. I gave you the easiest one. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Well, it is. It is definitely scalable. It's a yeah. um, it's scalable to any any size of business. So you want me to put you out of your yeah, misery? Yeah, please do. We are done with this. Okay, <laughs> we are done with this, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. It was wonderful oh, having a conversation with you today. And I've loved the walk in the park yeah, with you. <laughs> thank you for bringing us here. Thank you for being here with us on a very special episode of the Partner Chronicles, hosted by Zoho One. We would definitely see you on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Do not forget to subscribe and follow and keep listening to us. Thank you.